Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this wavy crop top and I'm also going to do a pattern giveaway in this video. I promise you this top is very simple. As you can see, it's just one row repeat. We're going to start from the back of the top and then just keep working in rounds and in the end, we're going to add straps. I'm just going to use some leftover yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. This is a variegated yarn, but I'm still going to show you how to change color for each round so you can actually use different yarns, different colors to make this top but just make sure they are the same weight, meaning the same thickness. So I'm going to begin with a slip knot. And then we're going to make a chain. When this chain is stretched, it should be your bust measurement. You also have to make sure the chain number is a multiple of 14. I chained 98. And then I'm going to join to the first stitch. But you're going to have to make sure the chain is not twisted. So I'm going to insert my hook in the first stitch and make a slip stitch. Okay, now we're on the first chain. In this chain, I'm going to first chain three as the first double crochet. Then in the same stitch, work one double crochet. So yarn over, insert my hook in the stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then I'm going to work one double crochet in the next five stitches. So yarn over, insert hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. A second double crochet in the next stitch, Three, four, five. So there's two double crochets in the first stitch, then one double crochet in each of the following five stitches. Then over the next three stitches, I'm going to work a double crochet three together decrease. Yarn over, insert hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That is an incomplete double crochet. In the next stitch, yarn over, work a second incomplete double crochet. Next stitch, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two, a third incomplete double crochet. Then yarn over, pull through all. Then we're going to work one double crochet in the next five stitches again. So after five double crochets, I'm going to work an increase. That is three double crochets in the next stitch. 
So all three double crochets are worked in the same stitch. Then I'm going to work one double crochet in the next five stitches, then a double crochet three together like this over the next three stitches, then one double crochet in the next five stitches again, then an increase like this one. We're going to do that together again. So after the increase, five double crochets, one in each stitch, So after the increase, five double crochets, then a decrease. Double crochet three together. One incomplete double crochet. A second one. A third one. Yarn over and pull through all. Then five double crochets again, then an increase. So there are always five double crochets between a decrease and an increase. So follow this pattern, go ahead and finish this round. You should end this row with a double crochet three together decrease then five double crochets. Now, remember in the first stitch we worked two double crochets, including this chain three. If you follow this pattern, we're supposed to do a three double crochets in the next stitch, but we only have two. So I'm going to work one more double crochet in the first stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook in the bottom of this chain three, And make a double crochet. Then the next round we're going to change color. To change color I'm going to insert my hook in the top chain of this chain three and use the blue yarn to make a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain one to secure. I'm going to tie a few knots at the back. Round two is the same as the first round. Now we're on the first stitch. I'm going to chain three. In the same stitch, work a double crochet. And then I'm going to work one double crochet in the next five stitches. So exactly like last round. So now we have two double crochets in the first stitch, then five double crochets in the next five stitches. Then in the next three stitches, one, two, three, I'm going to work a double crochet three together like this one. So I'm going to work my first incomplete double crochet, the second one, a third one, then yarn over pull through all. Then I'm going to work five double crochets.
the next stitch should be the middle stitch of this increase. In this middle stitch, work three double crochets. Then I'm going to do five double crochets again, then a double crochet three together like this one, right here, five double crochets, then an increase like this one. So that is the pattern for every round. And um, at the end of this round, you're going to work a double crochet three together here. Then five double crochets over the last five stitches. In the first stitch, work one more double crochet so that there's three double crochets in the first stitch and then slip stitch in the top chain of this chain three change color at a slip stitch just like we did here so it's actually just one round repeat the next round i'm going to use purple and then the very next round i'm going to go back to yellow again so i'm going to go ahead and continue working more rounds as you're working your rounds let's have a look at the giveaway do you thank you guys for helping me reach 5k? I'll be giving away 3 copies of the written pattern for this Yoshi vest. I decided to do the Yoshi theme since it's the most voted in my last post, but the pattern will also come with Mario and Toad as well. I will be making a tutorial on Yoshi but not on Mario or Toad. I will also list them on my Etsy store once I got them ready. To enter this free giveaway, you will need to be publicly subscribed to my channel comment on this video that you'd like the pattern. Please also like this video to help me grow the channel. You have one week to enter from the day this video is posted. The three winners will be chosen randomly with a comment picker on July 9th and will be announced on the same day in my next video and also on my Instagram. The winners must contact me through email to claim the prize within one week. Then I will need to validate you at the account holder. If a winner does not respond within one week, unfortunately, you will be disqualified and a new winner will be chosen. So I did those three rounds four times and then I'm going to join you the first stitch. Chain one and fasten off. I'm going to cut the other threads as well. And pull yarn through. So that's the center of the back. And that's the center of the front. So to make the strings, I'm going to attach my yarn here, make a chain, then attach here, make another chain. So to attach a yarn, I'm going to insert my hook in this middle stitch. Pull yarn through. And then just tie a few knots. I'm going to insert my hook in that stitch, pull up a loop and then start chaining. When this chain is long enough to tie it behind your neck, cut the yarn and pull through. And then you do the same on the other side. I think I chained around 120 because I want it to be long enough. And then you're going to fasten off all these ends. This is what it looks like on the wrong side. I can even do this. You can go over my shoulder and tie it to the back. So that is everything for this top.